There is quite a bit to learn when it comes to learning to be a lifesaver, but there are classes that help with that very topic. KX News' Corbin Warnock shows us what it takes to be an EMT. The new session for Trinity Health's emergency medical technician class will take place starting on January 4th. Those who sign up will get hands-on training with various types of equipment that they'll use in the field. We use a Life Pack 15, which is a monitor defibrillator, cardiac, cardiac capabilities, uh, takes your vitals and whatnot. We have a Lucas device, which is CPR device, basically. Um, we work with IVs, we work with AEDs, Rapes is at the beginning, they go over the basic life support things such as uh, proper ventilation techniques, uh, good chest compression techniques, uh, then we kind of move into the more medical side of things, so giving people uh, buterol treatments for respiratory issues, um, learn how to maintain an IV for like long distance transports. Not only do they teach you how to save a life, they also have advice on the tests EMTs have to take. So in this class we go into depth pretty much on all the skills and the testing. So testing for the NREMT, it's a very difficult test. So we also try to teach our students um, ways to take the test that'll make them successful, how to read the questions, how to read the answers, eliminate a couple. And it's gonna be more than one right answer. You just have to pick which one's right, more right. And instructors add something different about North Dakota is that you don't have to learn these skills after you get a job. In our class we teach a number of enhanced skills that in other states you'd have to get after you were certified at when you got hired on a job. Some of those would be epi administration for allergic reactions, Narcan administration, um, internasally, we do IV maintenance, we do CPAP. CPAP's a big skill too. It's something that when somebody's in a respiratory distress we can have them try out this machine. It's eliminated a lot of intubations that have been needed, so it's a huge skill for an EMT to possess. But whether or not you plan on becoming an EMT, instructors say you can apply what you learn in the class to your everyday life. Reporting for KX News, I'm Corbin Warnock. Dieter says getting your EMT certification is a fantastic way to get into the medical field, but you can't just sign up. There are several factors and several steps you have to pass first to get that certificate. To look at some of the requirements cost and what all it takes, just look for this story at kxnet.com.